And then there were three. Yet another Super Tuesday has come and gone, and Ted Cruz is among the trio of Republican presidential hopefuls still standing. The Texas senator's path forward to the nomination top short Texas political roundup. Cruz placed second or third in four of the five primaries held March 15th. Missouri's primaries for both Republicans and Democrats are still too close to call. With Florida Senator Marco Rubio out after losing in his home state, his supporters, including many Texas lawmakers and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, are already pledging to back Cruz. And Cruz's campaign says their candidate is likely to capture more delegates than frontrunner Donald Trump heading into the GOP's national convention this summer. Tens of thousands of Texans live in places where the drinking water contains toxic levels of arsenic. That according to a report out this week from an environmental group. The Washington, D.C.-based Environmental Integrity Project found that for nearly a decade, about three dozen rural drinking water systems have exceeded the federal drinking water limit for the cancer-causing chemical. It further found that the state is not doing enough to discourage the more than 50,000 Texans affected from consuming the water. And March Madness, with five Division I teams from Texas having earned their way into the NCAA men's basketball tournament, you'd think Texas universities are in for a big payday. While they've reserved featured roles in a massive money-making event, the take-home is less than you'd expect. The Texas Tribune launched our Ballpark Figures app this week that lets you examine the finances of the eight public Texas universities that play in the football bowl subdivision and how football revenues impact the other sports, most of which lose money. I'm Alana Rocha. Check out that app, keep up with the 2016 Delegate Scoreboard, and follow the timeline of Attorney General Ken Paxton's indictment all online at texastribune.org.